time. Hello, my name is Errol. Here is a picture I'm working on. It's for my new book. It's about a little boy who gets lost at a fair. That's what I like to do, draw pictures for books and write the story as well. Here's another book I've done. It's called Nini at Carnival. I'm not sure where I got the idea for this book from. Probably from all the carnivals I've been to. A carnival is a kind of street party where you dress up and have lots of fun. Rosie and me went to the carnival. I liked it very much. We all dressed up and everyone wore blue. We went to Errol's house and did some drawing. Hello, Antonio. Hello. Hello, Rosie. Hello. What are you doing? Um, pictures of... Pictures of carnival. Carnival, ah. Remember, we had a lovely time, didn't we? Yeah. Mm, you were dancing a lot, weren't you? And I you as well. Was, yeah. Is this the costume you wore? Hmm, that's really, really nice. Hmm, lovely. We done ourselves and we drawed our own costumes. That's lovely. Errol was drawing lots of pictures as well. Would you like me to draw a picture of Nini for you? Yes. Okay, I'll start now. First, I'll do her hair. Very quickly like that, because we haven't got much time. And then I'll do her eyes. Now for her nose. And for her mouth. Now, do you think Nini would be happy at Carnival? Yeah, yeah. I can tell you, in the story, she wasn't happy to begin with. Her mouth was a bit like that, you see. But by the end of the Carnival, her mouth was like that, you see. She was really having a very good time. Just like you had it at Carnival in summer. But I don't want to give away too much of the story, do I? Do you want to hear the story of Nini at Carnival? Yeah. Come, then. At last it was carnival day. All the children were putting on their costumes and helping each other get ready. Everybody was happy except Nini. Nini didn't have a costume, you see. And as the others marched off to join the carnival, Nini just sat there and cried. If you don't stop crying this minute, said Nini's friend Betty, I will turn you into an ugly frog. <coughs> But if you come with me, I will make you queen of the carnival. Very funny, said Nini. You're not a rare fairy godmother, and you haven't even got a magic wand. I might not be a rare fairy godmother, said Betty, but at carnival there's a lot of magic about. So off they went to join the carnival. There was so much noise and excitement. There were horns and whistles and flutes and drums, bottles and bells and everything else. Toot toot, toot toot, tan tan, bang bang, ka tan, ka tan, ka tan, ka tan. Everybody was having such a good time. If only I had a costume, whispered Nini to herself. Then Nini suddenly heard, I am your fairy godmother from the East. Put this on. It was only a piece of cloth, but it fitted Nini perfectly. Now that you have a costume, said the fairy godmother, you're pretty enough to be the queen of the carnival. Nini danced and danced with happiness. And soon, everybody was dancing with Nini. And everybody agreed that Nini was the queen of the carnival. Later on, Nini saw her friend Betty. Where have you been? said Nini to Betty. Look, I've been made queen of the carnival. By a real fairy godmother, I suppose, said Betty. Yes, said Nini, from the east and with a real magic wand. And Nini talked about it all the way home. Yes, Betty. 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 That was her. That's right, because you can see behind her, she's hiding the magic wand. 
and, and the mask. mask and the little and hat, hat, you see. And did you see it's something? That. Did you notice when she got those? Did you notice that? If you looked at this picture, just when Nini was saying, if only mm. I had a costume, when she whispered that bit, yeah, she, she looked, was getting there's her friend Betty in the background. Somebody's bringing her a bit of cloth. Mm. And there's somebody over there with a magic wand. wand. Mm. And do you know something? What? Nini never did find out that it was really her friend Betty who did all those things and who arranged it for her to become the queen of the carnival. She never found out. In our carnival, there was lots of people. We had to put on our costumes first. You're going to get yourself made up now? Not yet, yeah, because Mayland's cutting out some letters. Lots of people made the costumes and it took a long, long time. Did you buy these special Some people had glittery headdresses, so I think they were blue angels. I like dressing up. We'll see uh, if you could make a mask, and if you could make a crown as well, and maybe we could pretend that you're Betty and you're Nini. I will be Nini, you be Yes, but she is bigger, isn't she? OK. Now. OK, Rosie, let's make a mask for you, but first of all, let's see where we should cut it. That's the size of your face. Look. What I'll do is I'll draw a mask for you, mm -hmm. and then you can cut it out, OK? Now, that should be about right. Now, if you can cut that along there, and cut out the eyes there, then we can attach something there and see if it fits you, OK? You can start now and then go up there, and in the eyes. where the eyes go. And Antonio, you're going to be Nini, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. OK, let's get a nice, bright sheet of paper for the crown. And what I'll do, I'll cut it down the side like that. And then I'll fold it up like a concertina. One, two, three, four, six. Seven, eight. I'm going to cut it now just like that. And bingo, we have a crown. So let's see how that fits you. Ah, oh, that's lovely. In our carnival, everyone wears a crown. Yeah, it's not going to fall off. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to have to keep it at the front. Right, what about you? Daddy, can you stay one place? It's not straight, though. Can I have green, please, Antonia? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll do this now. Ah, oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? Now, Rosie, what you can do is you can paint this and put what some nice glitter on it. Errol done a makeup because he's good at painting. Before the costumes are made, there's somebody who designs all the various parts of the band so that uh, when it gets to the big day, that everything is going to be okay, and all you have to do is to get into your costume and have your makeup put on. Wow. Thought you wanted. I thought you wanted your lipstick. Hmm? Usually, the makeup as well matches the actual costumes. I enjoy doing the makeup, although it's really quite a lot of hard work. With so many people having to have their faces made up. You remember these? It's a nice photograph of your carnival. Yes. Yes. What do you remember about that day? 
Do you remember the king at the very front yeah, of the, yeah, of the yeah, procession? Yeah, skeleton. Oh, it had <laughs> things sticking out. Does it have a skeleton? Oh. I it did. <laughs> it had a skeleton <laughs> head. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> This year, the king really represented the Blue Basin, which is a kind of lagoon. And uh, so the strands that came down from the head was meant to be a waterfall. We were all dressed up to be like uh, water, either a fountain or a water drop or a waterfall. And that's also one of the reasons why we were in blue. There were lots of people dancing, and um, me and Antonio were dancing along the road. It was very noisy with lots of people blowing whistles. On, on this particular carnival day, I was a bit like Nini because I didn't really have a costume. But I made up something very hurriedly and I had a good time. When we all came together, we hope that it would make you feel as if we were like a big river or something like that, or even the sea. We really had a nice time at Carnival. It's nice to be among friends, isn't it? Yeah. You got your mask and your crown ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can make your own mask and crown as well, but right now, we're going to have our own carnival. So, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.